How's it going, everybody? Bam, back with more Rocket League content. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Fall Open Rocket League Championship Series 2022-2023 is about to get underway. This weekend, we've got the North American uh, Fall Open, as well as the uh, Middle East, North Africa uh, Fall Open, which I believe is actually going on right now, or maybe day one just ended, uh, and playoffs uh, will be tomorrow, I think. But um, before we get into our predictions i just want to say a huge thank you to the uh to the guy that does all the spreadsheets here adam dude does an incredible job putting together all these spreadsheets for every tournament and uh yeah he's just a super awesome guy you can go ahead and check out his twitter here i'll be sure to link it down below uh, so you guys can go fill out a bracket of your own so let's jump right into it here we have got Round one matches. Space Station Gaming, of course, made the big roster move, dropping Rettles and picking up LJ. I think it starts out very quick for them with a nice 3-0 over Soul. Uh, Souls of, uh, I believe it's three rookies, Drew, Knight, and Stealth. I believe this is their first real action in the RLCS. So, uh, uh, nice surprise to see them making top 16 here, but I think they... Uh, they drop to the round two lower matches early. Version one, I think, also picks up a very early win here over Team Axel. Uh, that is the former Oxygen roster, the duo of Gimmick and Toasty. Uh, of course, no more LJ on that team, so they now have Ajax on that team. Uh, I think they fall short here against version one. G2 Esports, the boys. The boys, they pick up a nice 3-0 win over Alraz, Lion Blaze, and Kinsei. Of luminosity gaming and now complexity against fury the two former sam teams meeting up here in round one i like fury to take it but i think complexity give them a little bit of trouble here complexity a lot more used to the uh north american play style as it were fury is just now getting here i think complexity give them some issues crr looks like that's panning out pretty well for them um making that dr adjustment dropping shad picking up crr uh, but I think Furia here, just a little bit too strong uh, for complexity. Now, PK and Optic. Of course, Optic Gaming, uh, the new new roster of AJ Rettles and Magic Bear. And then Pittsburgh Knights with Sosa, Cheese, and ZPS. And I really want to pick Pittsburgh Knights to pull the upset. Sosa's my guy. But Optic, I think it's just a little bit too much for Optic here. Uh, in round one, I think they pick up the round one win. FaZe Clan dropping AJ, picking up Mist against Gen G with Nolly, Chronic, and Appjack. Again, I think this transition is going to be really bad here for Gen G, especially early on. I like FaZe. Nice little 3 1 win there. Rogue and Shopify Rebellion. Shopify Rebellion have looked pretty good. They've looked pretty good at times. Of course, that's Memory, Parth, and Two Piece. But and that's my boy Aqua and Rogue. They're going to take it down in game five. And Dignitas against NRG. Man, this is such a tough one. Dignitas, of course, the new roster of Dries, Andy, and Delta, the dad trio. Uh, and then NRG. Uh, they stuck together, which I respect the hell out of. But I do think it was genuinely time for them to make a roster move. And I think Dries, Andy, and Delta pull the game five win. Dignitas over NRG. I don't think this is the end of NRG, but I do think you got to get them early, and I think Dignitas uh, get them early here in round one. We'll start with the round two low matches here. Complexity Gaming over Soul Again, I think this will be a rough weekend for Soul NRG, I do think that they pick up a win here over Luminosity Gaming. I think it'll be close, though. I think NRG pull it out in game five. Shopify Rebellion, I think they'll take it over Team Axel. I think two-piece Parth. Those two guys, absolutely incredible. Uh, and then Memory, of course, just your solid rock on that team. Um, we'll go, we'll go three, we'll go three one here, Shopify. And then Genji over PK. Ooh, I like PK. I think PK actually beat Genji in the closed quals. I think it was. I like Pittsburgh Knights. Like I said, I think for teams like Furia and Genji. This, this big switch, this big transition regions, I think it's going to hurt them just a little bit, especially here early on. I think once they get their feet under them, once they get you know a little bit more adapted to North American play styles consistently, 
Uh, I think they'll be good, but I think I think Pittsburgh Knights get them here early on in round two. Moving over to the high matches, uh, I like Space Station over Furia. I think I think Furia is a really good team, but like I said, just getting used to playing consistent NA teams uh, over and over again, I think it'll it'll take them just a little bit to get used to. Drees does not get his revenge on G2 Esports, unfortunately for the dad combo g2 esports pick it up i listen i love i love my guys at rogue aqua i listen aqua made my top 25 list for a reason but him alone is not going to be enough for version one and optic gaming against phase i think phase get the better of aj here very early in round two they'll send uh optic gaming to the middle matches there we go and phase clan will move up to the round three high matches gen g and soul i think gen g stave off elimination they send drew uh stealth and uh knight home early and luminosity i think i think lion blaze gets the better of team axel here uh i i really like gimmick and toasty i think toasty is an incredible player i think gimmick is still really good um but luminosity i think they'll they just got they just got something you know, I don't know what it is. I really like Lion Blaze, so maybe that's uh, maybe that's a little bit of a bias there. But I think, unfortunately, Team Axel and Soul will be heading home 0-3 here. Optic Gaming pick up a win over NRG. I think they're they're kind of in a little bit of a honeymoon. They're not quite there for phase, but they'll be better than NRG here. And now Rogue against P Are you serious? Oh no, Rogue against PK. Oh, what a decision. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I oh no. I got to I got to go with Rogue here. I really don't want to cuz I want both of them to make it through, but I think Rogue are just the slightly better team uh than PK right at this very moment, so we'll have Rogue advancing to the round 4 high matches. Uh Dignitas and Complexity. I think this is a really tough matchup for Complexity. I really like I really like Dries and I think uh I think uh, the rest of the boys there on Dignitas, Andy and, and Delta, I think they're ready to take that step. Uh, I like Dignitas here over Complexity. And Furia, uh, they will not be sent to the low matches just yet. They will take down Shopify Rebellion here. So pretty, pretty standard looking matchup here uh, in round three. All the favorites winning. Uh, and that changes here in the round three high matchup. Uh, we got FaZe Clan taking it over space station gaming and then what do we want to do here version one had g2's number for a large portion of last year but i th i think they're just too good i think they're just too good i like g2 esports taking down v1 here in the round high matches g2 and phase go through at three and oh here in the swiss uh, and then we move on to round number four. Space Station, and uh, we'll start with the we'll start with the low matches. Complexity and Luminosity, and uh, you guys already know what I'm looking at. Uh, I like Complexity here. I think CRR, like I said, really good uh, addition for them. Uh, it seems to be working out so far. I like them to make it here to round five. Genji, I can't send Appjack home just yet. He'll make it to round five. And then NRG and PK. P PK are going to do the thing, fellas. PK are going to do the thing. You watch. PK. Pittsburgh Knights, they're going to do the thing. They're going to send NRG home at one and three in the Swiss. I, it seems, it sounds crazy. NR Listen, North America is so deep right now. You, you could have, I could see almost any of these 16 teams making it to playoffs. Uh, I think there are a couple teams that are weaker, like Soul and, and Team Axel, I think right now are just a step below uh, pretty much everybody else. But I could see an argument for just about any team here. And I think PK gets it done uh, over NRG. Space Station and Dignitas, the black and yellow boys. Uh, I think Space Station is just too much here for Dignitas. Dries, Andy, Delta. It'll be a 3-1 there. Version 1, they'll send Furia down to the round 5 match. And Optic Gaming will do the same to Rogue here in round four. And look at what that sets up. Round five. Rogue and Complexity. I like the CRR adjustment. I like that change. 
but Aqua, he's too good. Aqua is going to get Rogue a top eight in the fall open. The first tournament of RLCS, Aqua is going to lead Rogue to a top eight. Furia, I'm sorry, PK, but unfortunately, the magic run ends here against Furia. And Dignitas against Gen G Mobile One Racing. Listen, I love Jack. But I like Dries that much more. 3 1 Dignitas over Gen G. And that sets up our playoffs. So our bottom eight, Soul and Axel, go out 0 3. Luminosity, Energy, and Shopify go down 1 3. And Complexity, Gen G, and PK go down 2 3. Setting up our top eight, we'll start down here at the bottom space station and rogue i love i love my man aqua but unfortunately space station too much for rogue rogue get a top eight here but that's as far as they go phase i listen i love drees but again it's just gonna be too much phase clan drees also joins rogue as dignitas also drops out in the quarterfinals optic against version one I would love the story of a possible Rettles versus Space Station in the grand final. And you know I'm a man of stories. Let's give it to Optic Gaming. And G2 against Furia. G2's had their number recently. I see no reason that that doesn't continue. G2 advances over Furia into the semifinals. G2 Optic phase and space station are your top four we'll start at the bottom once again phase and space station man what a tight matchup all four of these teams are super good three of them made roster moves and by three of them i mean two of them made roster moves and one of them uh, is a completely new roster and one of them stayed the same and i think phase you're going to see FaZe in the grand final where they will meet. Uh, was there ever a doubt? Was there ever a doubt? I mean, come on. It's G2 Esports. And then the grand final, best of seven. I reward sticking together through thick and thin. And so, mistype there. We'll give it to G2 Esports. They take it home. Four to three in the grand final. Your champion, the boys, they get it done. They get it done. In whichever jersey they're wearing and whatever hats they're always wearing g2 take it home four to three over phase clan but man what a top eight g2 furia optic v1 phase dig space station rogue and that's not even including the teams that got knocked out early complexity gen g nrg shopify north america is so stacked man this is a great time to be a fan of rocket league here in north america let me know in the comments down below who you have winning it all. Like I said, you can fill out your bracket from Adam Core. I'll go ahead and leave a link to his Twitter down below in the description. Check it out for yourselves. Let me know in the comments who I got right, what I got wrong, who you have taken it all down. Do you agree with me on anything, and what do you disagree with me on? That's going to do it for me. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to click the like button. If you disliked it, click the dislike button. It really lets me know what you guys want to see more of. And if you enjoyed the content so much, you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that. You can click the subscribe button down below. Click that bell icon so you get notified whenever I go live, whenever I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.